We're given f of x comma y and asked to determine the partial derivative function values. First we have the partial derivative of f with respect to x at negative one comma one. This would give us the slope of the tangent line on the surface in the x direction. Let's take a look at this before we find this value. The surface is graphed in blue and this yellow plane is parallel to the x-axis and notice how this tangent line is in that yellow plane and therefore this is the tangent line to the surface in the x direction. So we'll be finding the slope of this red tangent line when we evaluate the partial derivative with respect to x. So to do this, we'll treat y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. So we'll first find the partial derivative function with respect to x and then we evaluate it at negative one comma one. So the partial derivative with respect to x would be equal to the derivative of negative x to the fourth with respect to x, that would be negative four x to the third, minus the derivative of two x y to the third with respect to x, so we're treating y cubed as a constant. The derivative of two x is two, so we'd have minus two y to the third, and then the derivative of y to the fifth with respect to x would be zero, again because y is a constant. So now we evaluate this at negative one comma one, that would be negative four times negative one to the third minus two times one to the third. So this would be negative four times negative one, that's positive four, and then minus two, which is equal to positive two. So the slope of the tangent line on the surface when x equals negative one and y equals one in the x direction is positive two. So we go back to our graph just for a moment. Notice as we move in the positive x direction, we can see this tangent line is going uphill and that's the reason why our partial derivative is positive. Now for the second example, we'll begin by finding the partial derivative with respect to y. So we're treating x as a constant and differentiating with respect to y. And therefore the derivative of negative x to the fourth would be zero since we're treating x as a constant. And then we'd have minus the derivative of two x y the third with respect to y because the derivative of y the third would be three y squared. We'd have negative two x times three y squared. That'd be negative six x y squared plus the derivative of y to the fifth with respect to y that'd be five y to the fourth. And I will evaluate this at negative one comma one, so we'd have negative six times negative one times one squared plus five times one to the fourth. So here we'd have positive six plus five, which is equal to eleven. Which means at this point on the surface, the slope of the tangent line in the y direction is positive eleven. This graph didn't turn out so well, but let's go ahead and take a look. Here it is. Notice how the yellow plane is parallel to the y-axis now, and the tangent line is in that plane, and as we go out along the positive y-axis here, notice how the tangent line is going up very quickly, and this tangent line has a slope of positive 11. I hope you found this helpful.